Hey YouTube, Aiden slash Burger Bob here, whatever you want to call me. I'm here to talk today about practicing at home. Um, I think I made a video about this a while back when I was living in a different place, like two places ago. This place is a little different. So in my past, I have always, not always, but I've almost always just practiced at home, no matter the consequences. Um, in my last couple places here in LA, I would just play at home. And I had no issues whatsoever with that. My rules are, I will not play before 10 a.m. in the morning, ever, because nobody wants to hear that when they're, like, waking up, and I will not play after 7 p.m. at night, because that's when, like, kids start going to bed and people are eating dinner and stuff like that, so I will only play between those hours in the day, preferably, like, more towards the middle of the day, more around noon, like, 11 to 3 or 4, something like that, so that, those rules have served me well in the past. And up until this point, I've had no problems with that. Until I got to this place, where I was practicing every day out in the living room with all the windows open, just do do do, having fun in the middle of middle of the day, not during not during bad hours or anything. And some of our neighbors called the cops on us, so we had to find a new way to practice. And that way is we had this little hallway between our rooms. This is the living room, that's bedroom, and this is bathroom. This is just kind of like this little middle room between all of our rooms. And it has no outside walls, and so that way it has at least one layer of insulation between every outside wall. So we have this nice little space that has no, no exterior sound going anywhere. And we decided to augment that because we tested this room as it was um, with just the doors closed, and it was still pretty loud. The problem with interior doors is that they're hollow and they're not very thick. It's just like a little sheet of something and then empty space, just air, and then a little sheet of something. And that basically just lets all the sound do its thing. Um, you know, and they're just like even thinner walls. There's just like no substance to them. So we went to Amazon and got this stuff, these foam um, squares. I think we got like 72 of them for... 40 bucks or something like that. These are like literally the cheapest ones. Um, they go up in price pretty quickly. You can pay like a dollar per thing and then it's like way more expensive. So we got the really, really cheap ones and we got some 3M poster tape, I think. So it's like double-sided tape and you just, it's like one-time use. And it's it sticks these on really well, but it's like pretty um, not super robust. So you're not going to like take paint off or anything like that. And you can use these again afterwards. Once you take them off, it's not going to ruin the foam or like rip it halfway off. So we got all these foam guys and covered the doors. So these absorb most of the sound that goes into the doors instead of just the door transferring all the sound. Obviously, we can't get all of it. But, you know, what are you going to do? And then most interior doors also have a huge gap under the door. And that just lets sound do its thing. It just kind of goes whoop, going straight under the door. So we made these out of a crappy old towel we had. We rolled them up, cut it apart, um, and did it with duct tape. And we had these perfect length under door um, sound dampeners. I don't even know what you want to call them, but they soak up all the sound that tries to get under the door. And then of course, last thing is, we got a rug that's not like super thick or anything, but that muffles a lot of the vibrations that would go into the floor or off the floor or any of that kind of stuff makes it easier to listen in here and it just for like our downstairs neighbors it's probably not quite as bad also since this is a tiny room this is smaller than like most practice rooms you would find in like a college um i have to use earplugs all the time so make sure you're using the right kind of hearing stuff if i play by myself um on bass drum mode especially in here it's just super super loud so i use my earplugs to practice almost all the time in the small room so there you go little tour of our tiny little practice room in our new place and just an idea of how to soundproof if you have exterior walls next to you maybe next to a neighbor or something you might be out of luck um, always try and find something that's insulated from the people around you is in as many places as possible of course and really just go for doors and just spaces that are going to let sound go through thanks guys see you next time